Welcome to lesson four of the Harnessing Learning Potential video series. I'm Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential and today we're talking about the primitive reflexes. What are these? Basically stages of development that babies go through. And during these stages of development, their body and their brains go through development necessary for them to grow up and be, uh, you know, learning and mature people. So, let me give you an example of a stage of development so you can understand really what this is all about. If you were to take a four-month-old baby and hold that baby above your head and zoom him around the room, the baby automatically goes into Superman. The baby doesn't collapse over your hands, okay? The baby's doing this. And so, if you took the same four-month-old baby, put him down on the floor, on his tummy, he automatically holds his head up, his head, his shoulders, his arms. So, when my little babies, they're adults now, but when they were babies and they were four months old, I was so proud of them because they were able to hold their head and their shoulders off the floor, even though their heads were quite big and their bodies were quite small. I was so proud of how strong they were, but I was wrong. It's not strength that's holding their heads up. It's a reflex, a reflex that they cannot help. This particular reflex is called the tonic labyrinthine reflex, and it's there specifically so babies can develop more muscles in their necks, backs, and shoulders. Because when they're born, they have so few muscles. So, um, that's what's going on in their body. And they need those muscles, by the way, so that they can, oh, you know, roll over and sit up, crawl on all fours, stand up and have good posture. Um, so, that's their bodies. But what's important here is what's going on in their brains. You see, their brain is being set up for um, sequencing. We need sequencing in reading so that we can say sound, 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 word without getting them mixed up. We need sequencing when we're writing so that when we are drawing the letters, we do the correct sequence of motor movements so that uh, when we are writing a word and spelling a word, that the letters are in correct sequence so that our words in the sentence are in correct sequence and also our thoughts in an essay are in sequence. We also need good sequencing for math. Math is all sequencing. Counting is sequencing, step-by-step -step procedures is sequencing, even telling time is sequencing of moment to moment, especially on an analog clock. So at this point, I want you to think about the people that you are thinking about while you're watching this series. And do you know somebody who um, has these two characteristics? They can't tell time on an analog clock, maybe with a digital clock, but that's not actually telling time. So they have difficulty telling time and have very rounded shoulders. And if you do, you're looking at what's called a retained tonic labyrinthine reflex. There are several other reflexes that we'll be talking about further on in this, this series. So that's it for now.